Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Sunny's List of Things. Going for a walk is one of the best parts of your days. If you're a new pet parent, you might think that dog walking is pretty simple. But the truth is, making a walk enjoyable for both you and your pup requires some foresight and training. Here are the top 5 walking tips you need to know. Top tip number one. One of the main issues that new pet parents face is how to walk a dog that pulls on the leash. Whilst training and practice are essential components, so too is the type of leash that you use. Many dogs react poorly when they are tugged back and their instinct is to pull even more. That's where things like a front clip harness or a nightingale collar comes in as it pulls your dog from the front so that they won't fight back. Top tip number two. The dog walks are actually a good time for yes to start training your dog on good basic behaviour. As time goes by your dog will meet new people, interact with other dogs and you'll get them used to the outside world. From the very beginning, you'll need to be firm with them using positive reinforcement, which they should soon get the hang of. Everyone loves puppies, but you'll need to make sure that you are careful around children, since you have no idea how your pup will react at first. Top tip number three. In an ideal world, you'd always walk your dog yourself but unfortunately this isn't always possible. Most dogs need regular exercise and long walks. And if you can't provide them, it's best to look into hiring a professional dog walking company. Many dog walkers can also help you with dog training and have strict dog walking guidelines that they follow so that you know your dog is in safe hands wherever they go. Top tip number four. There are three items, besides a leash, that you should never leave home without. The first one is of course poop bags. Always remember to clean up your after your dog. Not only is it a common courtesy, but if you don't, you could face a hefty fine. Even if the weather isn't warm, your dog can still get themselves dehydrated very quickly. Finally, a dog toy of some kind so that you can throw and that means that they'll be able to run around for a bit and enjoy themselves. And finally, top tip number five. The type of dog that you have will determine how long you need to walk them for and what type of exercise they need. So be sure to do your research. Some breeds and mixes will be perfectly happy with a couple of small walks every day, while others will need to go somewhere that they can run around for a long time to really let out their energy. So there you go guys, that's 5 top tips for walking your dog. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and also leave a comment and I'll get back to you if you do. So until next time, goodbye.